Yo, welcome to Ricketts Review. Now we're going to discuss the Ballon d'Or. Messi won it again this year for the fifth time, setting a, a record, a new record. Ronaldo was in second, and Neymar, who had a great, great year last year, 2015, he came in third. Um, I was sitting there, I was talking about with one of my friends, he's sitting over there, Killian. You've seen him appear on the Ricketts Review before with his Liverpool top, claiming that he's a Chelsea fan. So he, he was just giving me a rundown on a few stats, and um, yeah, it's interesting because when I saw the um, that um, Messi was announced as the winner, I was a bit surprised, but I was only a bit surprised because I know he was injured last year, I know Ronaldo wasn't injured and he was scoring a lot of goals, he scored six more goals than Messi, Messi got nine more assists, so I thought it was something that's going to be based on the individual performances and uh, maybe the goal return. Um, but I can see that it wasn't. Um, so they must have took into account that Messi, Messi won five trophies last year with Barcelona. I think Ronaldo won. How many win? Ronaldo won. Did he get one trophy? Nah, he got nothing. I mean, so maybe they took that into account. But I don't know. Maybe some of you might think that's unfair. Uh, me myself, I'm a big Messi fan. Uh, for me Messi as a footballer than Ronaldo, even though I rate Ronaldo highly. Who ain't gonna rate him highly after what he's been doing in um, the world of football? But what do you think? I want to know what you fans think. Was it unfair that Messi won? Um, being that he was injured, he scored less goals. Only six. Uh, give us your opinion below and let me know what you think. Take it easy. Ricketts Review just came back from Cuba, so bear with me. Island time. <laughs>